The World Health Organization is having a teleconference this week with travel and tourism industry representatives to work on recommendations on protecting their crews so they can resume flights to China. Sylvie Brienne, the World Health Organization Director of Global Hazard Preparedness, also said that people infected with the coronavirus should wear masks, but that for other people without signs of the disease, the masks will not necessarily protect them 100%. Frequent hand washing and other hygiene measures were also required. So far, 19 countries had formally notified the UN Agency of Measures or restrictions taken in connection with the outbreak, and the WHO was seeking clarifications on their justifications. Brienne says crews for those companies are really scared of being infected when in flight they have really close contact with passengers they feel at risk. That is why we feel the need to define with those companies specific recommendations so their staff feel secure, feel protected as well, so they can resume flying to China. Brienne added, I cannot guarantee they will resume the flights. The WHO was working with countries and also hoped for a realignment among countries' policies regarding the evacuations of their nationals from China. Hong Kong reported its first death from the newly identified coronavirus on Tuesday, the second outside of mainland China.